Hey guys, <clears throat> and welcome back to The Ring. And I have to just skip through all this cutscene again. Basically, we're going to get a huge plot dump about uh, Linko uh, being one of the good guys. He actually knows everything after all, and uh, he looked bad, but that was just a series of unfortunate events that made him look bad. When actually, he's a really nice guy, and he was trying to help our boyfriend, Robert. So why are we back here, you may not be asking. Well, I was 70, 17 minutes into the next video, which would be this video, and my cat decided to jump up. And completely balk the recording. He jumped up and hit my stream deck, and I didn't realise until I looked over at my second monitor that I had recorded about 13 minutes of blank screen. Yes. Right, so what is this? This is a fax. A fax? I wonder if it's from Jack. Dear Meg, please read this. Yeah, we, 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 we know all this crap. Uh, perhaps we'll back to the humans. Yeah, so... This is really confusing. Yeah, so basically we need to go back into the uh, the, the the unknown once again. Now, armed with a little bit more knowledge than I had last time, there is something I know that we need to do. Please enter your name. Meg. We need to go to an item box. Like, we really need to go to an item box. Right, we need to finish the game before nightfall. Okay. We can do that. I think. Now we have to wait for her to get up and out of her um, coffin thing, stasis chamber. Now we're going to have a conversation in a minute, which didn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But I do think there's a little bit more going on than, than we realise. Which, in another game, could have been pretty cool. But the way this game explains it just sounds like ass. Looks like I don't have much time to play with. She says that, but I don't actually think we do have a time limit. I need to wrap this up quickly. Okay, right, let's look at our item box. What realistically can we drop? I guess we can drop the pistol. Oh, we've already got like loads of shotgun shells. That's kind of interesting. We will get by. Oh, okay. It does that, does it? But you can't actually combine items. No, 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 you can, you can. Uh, right. That should do. That should give us everything we need to get through anyway. So let's equip our rifle. Ah, now, let's have a little look around. I didn't actually look around here. Um, which maybe I should have done. Maybe there's actually stuff here. Because we get some pretty juicy items, actually. Though, I don't know if we're going to get anything juicy. Ah, yeah, look. I thought these were grenades, but they're not. They're rocket missiles. <laughs> interestingly named weapon I mean we don't actually have a rocket launcher and I haven't found one yet but we appear to get a lot of these now is there going to be an enemy in the same spawn point I didn't look up here either no there isn't an enemy in that spawn point but there is a battery uh okay we'll have the battery why not I guess can't hear any enemies. Doesn't necessarily mean they're not there. It means we can't actually hear them. Alright, well there's nothing there. Yeah, I didn't check up here. I should have done, really. We know a popular spot for stuffing items is back here. Which, apparently there isn't anything back here. That... Oh, no, there is. Oh, shit. Fuck off. Napalm rounds. So look at this bullshit. Right, can we, can we, oh, for fuck's sake. That's what happens when your torch runs out. 
um, you lose the ability to actually aim at anything. Really annoying. Try that again, shall we? Let's kill this cat thing. Right, there we go. So, napalm. Yeah, well, we'll take the napalm. Fuck yeah, we'll take the napalm. I found quite a bit of that a minute ago as well. Interestingly, not here. I found it in another place. But what's a bit weird is I don't have anything to use the napalm in. I assumed that we could use them in the rocket launcher. Uh, in the rocket that have a rocket launcher. I assume we could use them in the grenade launcher, but... Oh, nice. Much better. Does that mean the lights are on downstairs as well? Probably. Um, yeah, I assume we could use them there, but apparently we can't. There has to be a light switch down here. Is that it? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, the less places we have to use those batteries, the better. To be honest. Because they just waste an inventory slot at this point. It looks like we can, you know, circumvent that pretty easily. Right, let's get out of here. Where are we? At? Oh, God. Hello. Take you out of the rifle. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck do you think you are, sir? Cool. Now, let's... Yeah, let's keep going. So we need to go upstairs. Because when I first came... Well, when I first started the video, I was like, Well, I have no bloody clue where to go. I haven't got a fucking foggiest. But... Let's save it whilst we're here. I don't think there's anything... Good. Nope, but we can save it. Just in case anything annoying happens again. Got the, this record. Okay. Really like some um, ammo for our machine gun. Or our assault rifle. Hopefully we're going to get some of that fence. I actually quite like this assault rifle. To be honest, like the shotgun is absolute shit. The grenade launcher is pretty shit as well. Like, how, on a system, way more powerful than the PlayStation, you know, can they have a game that's like Resident Evil? Doesn't have any of the satisfaction that Resident Evil has. It's all very weird. And I do want to check some of these rooms again, because we are finding new stuff. There's, that, ah, there's a light switch there, nice. Although, there's nothing new here. That's really interesting that these batteries that we find basically become obsolete. Like, we don't need them anymore. Which, I mean, I'm glad. But, why is there so many of them then? You know? It doesn't make any sense. There's literally so many batteries in this game. And not only that... But, um, you know, ooh. Part B. Part B of what? Part B? What the fuck is that about? Yeah, I didn't find that before. The part for some weapon seems to be useless by itself. Oh. Okay. Right, well, I didn't find that before. Or a part A, for that matter. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, cool, I guess. I mean, we found a part for a new weapon. Anyway, let's go upstairs, because I... Don't know if we're gonna sequence break anything. Now, I guess there's no lights in the actual corridor, though, which is a bit of a shame. It would have been nice. 
I guess we can't have everything, can we? I want to get to that really confusing conversation. Yeah. That's... I've seen her somewhere. I think that's meant to be Sadako, but... Eh? Where are you going? Where are you going indeed? Where, oh where? I mean, if this is supposed to be ominous and scary, it's fucking pathetic. But there we go. Right, anyway, let's go have a conversation with this gentleman. Meg? Hey, did a girl just come in here? A girl? There's no way a girl would be in here. Now, I have a feeling this is some important plot coming from this guy, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like the rest of the game. I know that, but... Alright, you didn't see her. Brigade member. All that. Now you're back, Meg. Does that mean you found the vaccine? I'm back? Vaccine? What are you talking about? What? What am I talking about? Meg, what are you talking about? Meg says, you're asking what I'm talking about? And Meg continues, it's all right now. I have something I want to ask you. Meg continues, what do I need to finish this game? Brigade member. Game? Huh? Meg, by any chance, was there interference? Interference? What are you saying? I'm just asking about the game. Brigade member. Meg, your mission was to enter the loop program, contact Sadako, and obtain the vaccine. Did you forget that? Loop program? Vaccine? What are you saying? Robert was worried. I guess... Uh, I guess his bad feelings came true. Robert? Why do you know about Robert? Who are you? Where in the world is this? Meg? When you were converted into the loop world using a converter program called Ring, your memory was jumbled up thanks to the interference from Yamamura's brain. That is, the loop. My memory was jumbled up. I thought I was just playing this game. Using a program called Ring that Robert left for me. That's not true. Ring is not a game. Ring is a converter to enter the loop world. In other words, the past memory of Yamamura. You saw the message we sent you using Ring, right? We will die in seven more days? You saw the message we wrote, dead, right? Damn it, we'll have to talk later. Uh, anyway, your mission is to obtain the vaccine. Hurry back into the loop and contact Sadako. If you get the vaccine and then come back, Meg, our, the entire DNA sequence will be transported over here. Got that? But wait, of, of course I don't get it. You have to explain it till the end. <clears throat> we have no time for that. They're here. You should uh, just hurry back. Hurry. What is this? Go back? Go back where? Right, yeah, that's the complete head fuck that I had. Um, I, d I have no idea, guys. Like, is this the real world? And, um, did we get transported? Uh, you know, is, is the facility the fake world? Or is the facility the real world and this is the loop program? Man, I haven't got a clue. It's so poorly translated and poorly worded and just straight up poorly written that I don't really know. Um, anyway, this is where I realised that things weren't going very well. And I started to record the video again. So, okay. Let's go through here. Let's check all of the rooms. There's probably a lot of stuff here. So I don't know if we're meant to be going back now or what. But, hey-ho, I 
guess. We still got that key as well that we found that I literally have no idea what that is used for, where we use it. Nothing in there still. Nothing in there still. I was kind of expecting a monster to jump out and eat our asshole. I guess not. Not yet, anyway. So this game is just like a complete head fuck. I'm guessing that plot dump is meant to make a lot of sense to someone. Not us, but... God knows, guys. Right. Guess there's nothing in here. Turn the lights on. I find it strange as well that every time we turn the lights on, she walks, she like turns around. Which is really weird. You have no control of her when that happens, by the way. Okay, so this is why I dropped all of my stuff. This room. We need to open this room with the grenade launcher. Now, I assumed that we use the uh, rockets and whatnot with this. But... That's not, that's not the way it goes down. Now, so we've got another battery. There's a lot of stuff in here, by the way. So, let's grab these. I thought these were more grenades, but they're not. They're rockets. We have another battery for our torch, which uh, doesn't appear to be that useful anymore, but whatever. We've got some napalm rounds. Now in here... We have some bullets for our handgun. Do we have space for that? Uh, no, not really. Can we delete? Can we actually throw this away? Like, what happens if we delete weapons? Are they literally gone forever? Chemical lights up with impact. We've got 40 of those. Jesus. A rocket used by the rocket launcher. Okay, I don't really know. Like, handgun bullets just don't seem to be that useful. I guess we'll leave them there. Now, we've got assault rifle rounds in there. And in this next room, we've got shotgun shells. Uh, now, I actually want to carry all this stuff. So, let's... Go to the cafeteria. Yeah, the cafeteria actually had a um, an item box in it, didn't it? If memory serves. Because we don't need the grenade launcher anymore. Whoa. Yeah, they're not just giving us like a small amount of ammo either. Holy sh shit. Yeah, that was... So that was 20 napalm rounds in there. 10 rockets. And 100... I'm curious to see uh, how much of everything else is in there then. Right. Definitely want to... Office 2 didn't have anything, did it? And the toilets didn't have anything. Yeah, let's go. Ah, it's just the monkey boy. Well, we can take out monkey boy. Two, three, four, five. That's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. 16, 17. 21 rounds. We'll put him down. You can hear my neighbor's dog probably going mental. He's got a Jack Russell, and boy, does he like to bark. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad we put him down. Now, what's in here? We've got. Oh, the lights aren't on in here. Got to be a light switch, though, surely. Yeah, that looks like it. There we go.
think something's coming for us. Ah, oh, you. Come on then, big boy. Let's see what you got, friend. Nice if you'd actually hit the thing. Ooh. Alright, I think we're empty. Empty of enemies, anyway. Have a little look in this one. I'm guessing there's also some gribbly nasty bastards in here, too. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got him. Have a little look. Do you have anything? Are you guarding any goodies for me, my dude? Jesus, he took some rounds. Damn, we've almost burnt through the hundred rounds. Oh god, Gorilla Boy as well. Let's see how many it takes to put him down. Probably a lot. He's done. Yeah, get out of here, monkey boy. Sit your fucking loopy ass down. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. I think we just wasted a load of bullets by coming in here. I mean, yeah, seriously, guys, nothing in here at all. That was a total bust. What a shame. But, I mean, we've exterminated two more bad guys, so, I mean, that was a thing. And we had some fun with the org. Oh, shit. So every time we exit a room and come back in. I guess, yeah, the enemies are bigger. Ah. That's interesting. She actually does remove the magazine and reload properly. Ah, that was actually really cool. I was not expecting that. Okay, so let's look at the item box. So, let's put the org back because that's basically empty now. And we're also going to put that back. Put the org ammo back. Uh, I guess we're going to hold on to that stuff. We'll take the shotgun and the shells. I'm going to take the handgun and the handgun bullets. Ah, we're starting to really fill up on stuff. Let's put all of this back for now, because we don't really need that, do we? Okay. Now, let's go back into the toilets and grab the stuff. Let's take the handgun back out. There we go. So hopefully in the toilets there's actually going to be a decent amount of ammo for this. Oh god, now she's doing the stupid running anime. I mean, I think it's fair to say that none of the weapons in this game actually feel useless. So, if that's a compliment, then so be it. They actually have done a fairly good job with the weapons. Making them all feel fairly useful. The rifle is definitely my favourite so far though. That gun just feels awesome. And it's just, it's bizarre that they put a nice amount of effort into quite a smooth reload animation for it as well. But, alright, how many handgun bullets do we get? Eh? Uh, about 30, which is normal. So we've got 23 spare shotgun shells. How many's here? How many do we get now? Whoa, dude, like so many. I guess we'll use the shotgun. You just get... Oh, man, what... I guess this was, like, worth coming into, but we got part B, which I'm going to assume 
is worthwhile. So, uh, we, I mean, I haven't found anything in this office that she went into apart from Mr. Matey Boy. And he didn't really tell us anything either. So, like, I'm guessing there is something in here somewhere. I mean, we have the napalm rounds. Did we check the drawer? I think we did. Yeah, we checked the drawer. There's nothing in here, really. Are you sure? It just seems odd to me. Can't use the computer to get out of it. There's definitely nothing here. Alright. Is there anything put in here now? Nope. Right, okay, so I guess this room is just a straight up bust then. Unless there's something in these. Nope. Nope. Okay, so where can we go now then? Um, is it just a case of checking every single room one by one? Well, I can't go into there. Office 2 didn't have anything in it, did it? Guess we can check this drawer as well. Nope. So where is this party wagon heading next? There's definitely nothing in these two areas. No. So the hunt for items continues, but I, that part B. So it's part of a weapon. Uh, which is cool. I like weapons. I'm going to lie. That we've harvested right out. Uh, what was that room? Anne's mission. I very much doubt there's anything in here, but you never know. There's a gorilla. Let's see how many of these rounds Monkey Boy can take. I mean, we're locked onto his ass, but we're not actually... Oh, that hit. One, two, three, four, five... Only five. Okay, we can handle five. So that's put the monkey down. And we do it. Like I say, we've got so many rounds for this weapon. It's nice. But do we have anything else in here at all? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Napalm bombs. Sure, I guess. Anything else? Oh, fuck. A big boy gorilla just spawned in behind us. Well, we don't need to deal with him. Napalm bombs. These things better be good, is what I can say. Uh, that door doesn't open. That's the door downstairs. That's to the cafeteria that we've been into. Security? I guess we can check the security room. Why not, I suppose? Oh, she's aiming. What are we locking on? Oh. Is that she locking onto something? Is there really nothing going to jump out at us? You can see her... There we go. No idea what that's about. Nothing in here then. Really? How strange. Unless something spawned outside now, which is possible. No. God knows then. Definitely locked onto something. 
All right, so there wasn't anything over there. Okay, so I guess we're going down. Transmission was fine. Bit weird that you'd have the generator though on the first floor. Usually that's the sort of thing you'd have in the basement. Surely. Or am I just being stupid? All right, let's go back downstairs. Because we've been everywhere upstairs, I believe. Oh, no, oh, we are on the right track. I guess we have to be. It's her. Please wait. Yeah, I don't think she's going to wait somehow. She's going to just saunter on down the corridor. Is she guiding me? Well, it looks that way. It really looks that way. I need to head that way. I'm coming. Just wait. Yeah, we are coming, but let's have a little look everywhere else first, shall we? Check out the breeding room. Ah, we're on half an hour already. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, this was an item room, so. Probably a good idea to check this room out. I wonder if there's any goodies. Any more goodies? No? Ah, I'm disappointed. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave this one here. It looks like we're slowly making our way towards progress. But uh, progress is a very slow and harsh mistress in this game. Um, we're going to continue following Sedeco. I mean, I guess that's who... She's meant to be. I'm not really sure at this point. Definitely doesn't look like her to me, but hey, what do I know? Till next time, guys.